Hello students as you all know because of corona virus issue classes are not there i know that you all are miss definitely missing your classes no issues every problem having a solution your class is just one click away this way we shall try to keep you stay connected to us and not lose out on your academics so me samiksha devidya here to discuss our first chapter of sst that is our universe so in this chapter we covering up these topics today we learn about heavenly bodies solar system the sun the earth the moon the stars and the constellations so students have you wonder in the morning you see the sun and in the night you see the moon and you also see the stars are twinkling but what they all are yes everything that exist is known as universe everything including the sun the moon the stars the solar system the space even me you pen pencil books everything everything around us is called the universe or in simple manner we can say anything we can touch feel sense measure or detect detect means like uh, notice something that is partially hidden universe includes living thing planets light and even time try to understand by this flow chart see here universe contain galaxy galaxy contains solar system solar system contains our earth and seven more planets in another way we can say our earth is a part of a solar system the solar system is the part of the galaxy and the galaxy is a part of the universe now let's talk about the heavenly bodies the sun the moon the stars and all the planets that we see in the sky are called heavenly bodies so the first topic is the solar system try to understand by this picture what you are observing from here yes you see the sun in the center and the planets which are revolving around the sun do you know the sun is surrounded by eight planets these eight planets along with the sun at center form the family with their satellite and asteroids asteroids like uh, pieces of rocks and uh, pieces of dust these all together form the solar system look at these circles well these are not the circles these are known as orbits as the eight planets moves around the sun and they moves in a particular fixed path called orbits now the planets in sequence to their distance from the sun are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune even we can remember the sequence of the planets by saying the following sentence my very educated mother just served us nuts here i am stands for mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune so students some more important things to know about these planets are mercury is the nearest planet from the sun jupiter is the largest one and see the neptune neptune is the farthest planet from the sun venus is really the hottest planet in the solar system and do you know students until 24th august 2006 pluto was considered as the ninth planet of the solar system but now pluto has been categorized as a dwarf planet dwarf means like anything who is much smaller uh, than the usual size oh what's this in the picture yes this is the sun sun is a huge ball of extremely hot gases sun is a star and it is the nearest star to our earth 
sun gives heat and light to the earth and this really makes life possible on earth otherwise we are not able to live in this planet sunlight is not important for human beings only this is also used by plants on earth to prepare their food plants prepare their food by the sunlight next is the earth earth is the third planet nearest to the sun look at this picture yes first one is mercury second is venus and third is our earth and you know our planet is the only planet of the solar system which has life on it well earth is covered by a layer of air or we can say that it has a thick layer of air surrounding is called atmosphere interesting fact is that almost 3/4 of the surface of the earth is covered with water and remaining 1/4 is land only now the next heavenly body is the moon just as the planets move around the sun the moon also moves around the earth and have you know one heavenly body moving around another heavenly body is called its satellite so the moon is the satellite of the earth well there are two types of satellite first one is natural satellite and another one is artificial satellite moon is the natural satellite of the earth because it exists naturally in the universe and the satellites made by human beings are artificial satellites like pslv and many more and its rings moon does not have its own light it shines because the light of the sun falls on it and you know the first person to land on the moon was an american astronaut named neil armstrong and edwin aldrin on 20th july 1969 they find out that there is no water and no air and just because of this life is not possible on the moon and the best thing to know that india is the first country to discover the water on the surface of the moon now the next heavenly body is the stars do you remember that poem twinkle twinkle little star exactly in the dark clear night million of stars twinkle in the sky but have you wonder why they all are twinkling and why they look very small in size yes they look very small in size just because they are too far away from the earth and the stars are balls of hot burning gases like the sun in fact stars have their own heat and light and the important thing is sirius is the brightest star that can be seen from the earth now the last topic of this chapter is constellation students if you watch the night sky continuously for a few days you may start recognizing some patterns made by the stars these patterns formed by the group of stars are called constellations examples like look at this picture the pattern of stars form the shape of big bear and this shape is named as ursa major usually you can easily find the great bear in the sky some more examples are this is orion it looks like the hunter and this one is the leo leo is looks like the lion so students we have covered these topics today that are heavenly bodies the sun the earth the moon the stars and the constellation now let me ask some practice questions related with this chapter so the first question is how many planets are there in the solar system correct answer is 8 there are 8 planets in the solar system next question is who were the first humans to walk on the moon great neil armstrong and edwin aldrin they were the first humans to walk on the moon in 20th july 1969 third question is 
which is the brightest star that can be seen from the earth exactly that is sirius now the next question is which constellation looks like a lion nice it is leo leo is a constellation which looks like a lion and the last question is which is the nearest planet from the sun correct students that is mercury that's all about the first chapter that is our universe thank you and be safe Thank <laughs> you.